Hi guys, welcome back to another Matchbox Garage video. I'm Rob, and today is another collaboration stroke build off. Uh, this time with Danny's Die Cast Disasters. And I apologise to uh, every New Zealander right there uh, by terrible accent. Uh, but yeah, Danny sent me an email and said, Hi Rob, do you fancy doing a build off? He's obviously seen kind of some of the build offs that I've done recently. Um, seems to be the kind of current trend for all of us to have little collaborations, which helps everybody. So, um, of course, I accept. He suggested we do a rally themed Escort RS2000. And I've had one in my collection, wanted to know what to do with it. And, well, here's the perfect opportunity. So, we'll remove the rivets. Start by drilling down the centre of the post, remove the flange, and tap all three holes. Remember to use your lubrication, you don't want to snap your piece off in one of those holes. Uh, not forgetting of course my very handy vice. Now it doesn't roll very well this one, it doesn't have any wheels. So, don't know where they went, but... Uh, you know, the rest of the car has kind of, I don't know, it's its not terrible, but there's obviously a lot of paint missing. There's a lot of scratches, a lot of scuffs. In fact, on some of the scratches, I was wondering and concerned whether they'd gone right through uh, to the, you know, down to the metal work and maybe a bit of a pig to get out. But thankfully, it was just paint deep. And uh, once we took the paint off, all was hunky-dory. Uh, it comes with a tow hook on this one. I'm not a lover of tow hooks unless it's a car that really requires it but because of the kind of style of the base if I remove that tow hook it would be so obvious so it is going to stay on this car today uh, but yeah reading number 9 Ford Escort RS2000 underneath there 1978 so yeah over 40 years old this one and as I mentioned it's got three screws that I done off camera there so two at the back and then uh, yeah one hole up front so this is a mark 2 escal um, with the rs2000 front end there it's a little bit different to your usual but i think they call it the slant nose is it uh, but yeah an absolute beauty of a car and if you was to buy one of these today in the UK, you know, your setback has a minimum £20,000, I think. Lovely interior. Of course, it's just a standard uh, car. Um, this one did come originally with some, I think it was a rally car. It had some awful Team Fall rally stickers over it, I think. Um, so, yeah, what up? Well the eventual result is in my opinion of course much better but yeah thankfully the glass was in good condition um, so we'll take this uh, kind of casting here along with this base and uh, start a strip and uh, of course have a cup of tea on hand uh, for some kind of inspiration, you know, some of those, how do I do it, what do I need to do, you know, a lot happens with this car, put it that way. Uh, so anyway, we go with the caustic soda stripping method, I put in three tablespoons here, because it had the base in there as well, and uh, yeah, less than, a, less than five minutes later, um, we've got the casting and the base here. And as you can see on the, I always find the base um, kind of paint always stays on a little bit more than the actual body of the car. Um, now I don't think I took any footage, but I did because of that base. Um, I did put a little extra kind of a, a paint stripper, the spray paint stripper that you've seen me use uh, for a, for a few seconds, and um, yeah, plus my. Uh, fake Dremel here has given me an issue the chuck 
on it just won't come off. But anyway, uh, fast forward about half an hour, and I think you'll agree that base looks as good as new. Uh, absolute beauty. And it was cut, almost a shame to paint it, but. You know, I needed to paint it because the lower kind of sections of that should be in the body colour. And these, you can see there, the body itself come out fabulous. And I spent probably an extra half an hour uh, with my little, um, I think they're called pin files. Actually, Danny suggested it to me about a week ago. And I purchased some of these, uh, I think they're called, are they pencil files, pen files, something like that. Tiny little files that gets in all the little angles a little kind of thing and because this is a you know a uh, kind of build off collaboration video i put it, i wanted to put in that extra effort uh to make sure that everything was perfect you know so i just reached for my uh tamiya fine service primer in white so the base here gets a single coat and I'm going to paint this in the body colour, as I mentioned, because the lower half of that front and even the back end is visible. And looking up some uh, pictures of the RS2000, they should be in body colour. So I didn't want it to be silver. I didn't want it to all be in black. This is what I consider to be a more uh, realistic, you know, kind of customization. But the detail in that front is is super, you know, around those front headlights, in the grille, you've got the little fold badge. Um, with this one, there's no kind of detail on the underside with exhaust or anything like that. Um, but, you know, we just leave that in the standard fashion. So just swap it out now for the body of the car. And I usually start from the interior. Just get a good old coat of primer at every which angle. And especially the kind of wheel arches there, which seem to you know get missed. So you need to kind of make almost you know separate and, and uh, attention for that. Lovely detail around the back of this car also, those rear lights, the number plate. Yeah, really cool. And I honestly think that Matchbox, with the dimensions of this car, just hit it absolutely sweet. You know, just perfect. So you can see in the kind of light reflection there, you know, it looked really good. There you go. Light glass. Beautiful. Now the colour we're going to go with is a light blue. Now I use 20 parts X2 to one part X4. So literally just a, you know, a drop of X4 and it makes all the difference. I find that with uh, colours, if you're going to use, if you wanted to have like a, a light colour, whether it's light blue, light green, light purple, whatever it may be, Start off with the white first. That will be 90 to 95% of the paint that you use. And then just add a, just a drop of colour. And it makes a huge difference with even just a pin size of paint. Um, and you'll get this, this, this colour change. Same again with, kind of if you want to go the other way. Uh, if you're going to go with something dark. Now, personally, I would start with the colour that you want and then just add a drop of black and then work your way up from there because yeah that white makes an instant change and that black is a bugger to try and get off black you know but there we are the base painted in that baby blue And then on to the main cast in the game. So the same method, paint from the inside out. I 
I want to make sure that every single surface is in this colour because if you do look through the windows you'll see this colour on the inside too and I put a lot of time effort and attention to the inside of this car more than I certainly usually do so yeah even even more so uh, to put that that colour inside just helps everything else pop you know and I was really happy with this uh, this colour and the way that it laid on and I maybe put on about three to four coats now wheel wise so this is obviously a day later it's all dry just putting the two pieces together here testing out some wheels and I had a few choices I actually went down to the local toy shop bought a few other cars um, to see whether they would fit none of them suited and I picked out these wheels so 10 points uh, are awarded to if you can guess where these wheels come from so yeah put that down in the comments and then I've spent probably half an hour cutting out all of these decals now I've got this uh, black pen and I've went over the front bumper the front grille area there and the rear bumper plus that little section underneath and yeah the, the wheels are now glued into position perfect size I thought and I'm just going to take this white pen uh, paint pen and just add in there the headlights so you can just about see the headlights there and I'm just going to chuck the plastic parts of so the interior plus the glass into some warm soapy water kind of get that swirling around and you can see the lights now plus the little fold badge in the center of the grill and also the uh, front number plate as well and then all the decals are in place this took forever I'm not a lover of applying decals but I felt I did pretty good um, quite happy with that and also around the back end there the rear lights uh, and the rear number plate which I was very happy about uh, looked really good and I'm just going to go over that main body of the casting with this TS13 now I'll just do some short bursts you can just about see where the white behind that 21 there disappears with the lacquer and the only the car didn't need to be uh, lacquered in my opinion but because these decals were showing white uh, once they dried the lacquer just took away that white and you know made it look absolutely beautiful and of course you know it's it's as shiny as what it was without the lacquer but uh, now at least the decals are protected so you can see in the light there very nice and then wherever I see that needed perhaps a little, little extra couple of little pits normally it just needs you know a little bit of an extra squirt you got to really try and find the sweet spot with this stuff too little and you get orange peel or pits too much obviously you get runs you just need to find that sweet shiny spot and I think I found it today So the windscreen, now it's at its soapy bath. We'll dip it into the pledge, put it to one side to dry, and then turn our attention to the interior. Now again, it's just had a bit of a bath, but you know this is not going to suit the rally car. It needs to be, in my opinion at least, uh, black. And I was going to use that paint pen. I did start, but I thought this is going to take me forever. So I switched out to the uh, matte black enamel paint 
and just a you know 30 seconds or a minute later covers it nice and easy and I was very happy with that so it goes another day later I think or it's the, the morning after the night before and yeah that's now dry very happy with that so put that to one side and you see there the glass having had the pledge treatment looks brand new looks better than brand new to be fair and then the interior nice and dry too so you've got the tow hook so I just wanted to mention you know obviously I've got the tow hook and this car's got number plates I know it's a, a rally car but perhaps it does drive in between rallies and it tows its own trailer full of tools I went down the bin and uh, pulled out a few little pieces of plastic and uh, also in my uh, little junk drawer took a bit of inspiration there with the seats and also the roll cage and I thought okay let's make our own roll cage and I didn't really have kind of anything too suitable I didn't think but I'm going to use these split pins or cotter pins depending on where you're from in the world that's where you what you call them and I thought okay let's build a cage now this uh, windscreen wouldn't have been glued or or, or have a, uh, a tab in it, but I thought I'm going to super glue it in so that I know where I need to kind of add this um, roll cage or where I had space for it to go. And I thought, you know, a couple of pieces up the front, you know, maybe a couple of pieces up the back, a bit of a cross section, you know. I don't know how to make roll cages uh, this wouldn't you know this uh, I guess style probably wouldn't pass inspection if it was real but you know I'm just making it work for the car and I've kind of made the, you know one section here uh, plus a couple of joiny bits I think that's what they're that's the correct terminology there a couple of joiny bits uh, and on top of my uh, vice there glued in position a little bit of baking powder uh, to help it to uh, connect there and then going back to that little bit of packaging cut it out a couple, few little strips and you'll see there I've, I've you know I've attempted to make some uh, harnesses some race harnesses I was really happy with them actually and it was super fiddly uh, but very very happy with the result and I'm just going to go over that interior with some Citadel non oil make it kind of look a bit realistic now the straws I was so my, my you can see what you know where I was going with with this one um, you know some some mud flaps some rally flaps um, but this was the straw that I cut out and it it just wouldn't I don't know it just wouldn't stick for one and it wanted to it's a smaller diameter and it wanted to kind of you know roll out and it was a bit annoying so I put that to one side cut up this can I've seen a few guys especially the the Asian if you now again I watch a lot of uh, car and die cast restorations I watch a lot of the Asian channels and you know some of those guys over there make amazing stuffs um, but they do a lot of wide, you know, wide body kit, Nissan GTRs and etc. etc. But they use that can um, to mould, and I thought, well, that I could just use that for my mud flap. So yeah, took insp inspiration from them. So you can see that there. Very happy. And then, you know, kind of uh, painted the roll cage in the similar kind of red tone too. But yeah, it's starting to come together now. So we've got the base, the body, the interior, the cage, not forgetting the three screws. So it was a little reminder of what we started with and the result. I think this has gone into my top one. This is, this is my favourite car now. Um, I put so much time and effort into this car at least I don't know 10 12 hours um, super fiddly 
and I love it. So these collaborations, especially with Danny, you know, Danny's channel, Danny's what he does is he's, he's, he's only been in he's only been doing it for I think a month or so. And he's got he's got one of his videos with half a million views, so he's no joke, you know. And uh, so that's why I I kind of tried extra hard. So yeah, I'm I'm looking forward to what he's come up with actually. So I'm going to go and jump over there now, click on the link, check out his video, because uh, yeah, I bet you it's a good one. But anyway, guys, uh, thank you to all of my patrons. And thank you guys for watching. Hopefully, you'll stick around for the next one.